Mushrooms are a delicious and nutritious food that can be grown in a factory setting with the right equipment and techniques. Mushrooms are rich in protein, fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, and have low fat and calories. They can also provide health benefits such as boosting immunity, lowering cholesterol, and fighting infections. In this blog post, we will explain the complete process of growing fresh mushrooms in a factory with importance and other important and latest statistics of growing mushroom. According to FAO 2020, the global production of edible mushrooms was 10.3 million tons in 2018, with China being the largest producer, 7.6 million tons, followed by Italy, 0.6 million tons, and the Netherlands, 0.4 million tons. The process of growing fresh mushrooms in a factory can be divided into six steps. Phase I composting, phase II composting, spawning, casing, pinning, and cropping. These steps are described below in detail. Phase I composting. This is the first step of preparing the substrate or the material that provides nutrients for the mushrooms to grow. The substrate can be natural or synthetic, but it usually consists of wheat straw, rice bran, horse manure, poultry manure, gypsum, and nitrogen supplements. The substrate is mixed and wetted in a rectangular pile with tight sides and a loose center. Then, it is aerated by forced air through nozzles or spigots in the floor. This allows the growth of microorganisms that break down the organic matter and release heat, ammonia, and carbon dioxide. The temperature of the pile can reach up to 80 degrees centigrade and the ammonia level can rise up to 0.15%. The pile is turned several times to ensure even composting and moisture distribution. This phase lasts for about two weeks. Phase 2 Composting This is the second step of preparing the substrate, where the compost is pasteurized and conditioned. The compost is transferred to a tunnel or bunker, where it is heated by steam to kill any pests, pathogens, or competitor fungi. The temperature is maintained at 60 degrees centigrade for about 8 hours. Then, the compost is cooled down to 25 degrees centigrade and aerated again to lower the ammonia level and increase the carbon dioxide level. This phase lasts for about one week. Spawning. This is the third step of inoculating the substrate with mushroom spawn or seed. Mushroom spawn is made by growing mushroom mycelium, the vegetative part of the fungus, on sterilized grains such as rye or millet. The spawn is mixed with the compost in a ratio of 110 to 120 by weight. The mixture is then filled into trays or bags and placed in a dark room with a temperature of 20 to 28 degrees centigrade and a relative humidity of 80 to 90%. The mycelium grows and colonizes the compost in about two weeks. Casing. This is the fourth step of covering the colonized compost with a layer of soil or peat moss mixed with lime. The casing layer provides moisture, air, and a pH buffer for the mushrooms to form fruiting bodies or caps. The casing layer is about 3 to 5 cm thick and is watered regularly to keep it moist but not soggy. The temperature is lowered to 12 to 18 degrees centigrade 
and the carbon dioxide level is reduced to zero. To zero percent by increasing ventilation. The casing layer is colonized by the mycelium in about one week. Pinning. This is the fifth step of inducing mushroom formation by exposing the colonized casing layer to light and fresh air. The light can be natural or artificial, but it should have a wavelength of 450 to 700 nanometer and an intensity of 500 to 1000 lux. The light cycle can be 8 to 12 hours per day. The fresh air exchange can be 4 to 8 times per hour. These conditions trigger the formation of tiny mushroom primordia or pins on the surface of the casing layer. The pins grow into mature mushrooms in about one week. Cropping. This is the final step of harvesting the mushrooms by hand or by machine. The mushrooms are picked when they reach their desired size and shape, usually before their caps open fully. The mushrooms are then sorted, graded, packaged, and stored or shipped to markets or consumers. The cropping cycle can last for about three weeks, with several flushes or harvests per cycle. The importance of growing fresh mushrooms in a factory is that it can provide a consistent supply of high-quality mushrooms throughout the year regardless of weather conditions. It can also reduce production costs by optimizing resource use and minimizing waste generation. It can also increase production efficiency by using advanced technology and automation. So, next time you enjoy a tasty mushroom dish, know that you are part of something special. Thanks for watching and keep on loving those mushrooms. Mm -hmm.